We begin tonight with the heat and the thunder. One of those regular season matchups that has you wanting to fast forward to the playoffs. It features the two lead horses in the MVP race. And for the first time this season, it includes Russell Westbrook, who was out in late January when the Thunder went to Miami and beat the Heat by 17. In fact, he hasn't played since Christmas. But at home tonight, he was back at it as the Thunder played host to the Heat and just in time to give his mom a happy birthday wish on the shoes. Nice shoes. KD and LeBron, center stage. And uh, first bucket of the game comes from guess who? Russell Westbrook. Oh, two hands. In fact, Oklahoma City took a 4-0 lead, and then Miami went on a 22-4 run. Ooh, comes the good. king, Ernie. Oh. Ooh. Oh, yeah. wow. More of that stuff. There were nine Oklahoma City turnovers in the first quarter alone. You can't turn the ball over. Gets Watch this. Here. Watch the C. Oh. Part. Oh. Whoa. That's a recipe for um, disaster. disaster. Yeah. Uh, Westbrook. Staying loose on the bike. And Chuck, then why didn't you do that when you were playing, Chuck? Exercise <laughs> bike doing when you were out. D Wade well, ahead of the pack. You have oh. skills, you don't have to do that stuff. I agree, <laughs> Chuck. Kevin Durant had only nine points in the first half on four of eleven shooting. In fact, Whoa. before he took his first shot of the game. LeBron James had scored 14 points. Oh, that's the thing that disappointed me the most about the game. You, Ooh, you can't, you gotta out. come out aggressive. When you, when you try to take something from somebody, you just can't come out passive. Russell Westbrook, back-to-back -back buckets there. They cut a 19-point deficit to seven by halftime. Go to the third, and Kendrick Perkins. Oh, that's uh, below the belt. Shane Betty has got to be older than dirt. And Kendrick Perkins, uh, would not return. What school did he go to? Strain left groin. Who? Shane Battier? Oh, Duke. Oh, they lost tonight. Yeah, they sure did. <laughs> Whoa. Ten to nothing run for the Heat. With LeBron providing the capper. Tough shot. And Dwayne Wade at 24 and 10 assists. I'll tell you what, man. Oklahoma Dang. City, they still need a low post score. To go to the next level. Oh, they can make a trade. Oh, they can. Oh, look at D-Wade right over. there. D-Wade looked very active. You know, I was worried about him because in the All-Star game, he had a breakaway and laid it in. And then tonight, he just had the spring in his step. Yeah, he had something else, too. LeBron over yeah, Durant that there. Guy. Okay. A up 11 he going. He had that guy on All-Star <laughs> weekend, too. <laughs> going to the fourth quarter. Ooh. Miami up 11 and Chris Bosh. There you are, boy. It must be nice to have a nuclear weapon at your disposal. <laughs> That's what LeBron is, man. D-Wade. Now, check this out. Mm. Oh, around. Wait, 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 wait. Off glass. No, he got it. No, <laughs> he didn't call. No, that, that no, was I don't planned. Think so either. He didn't plan that. Knock it off. Stop it off. LeBron had a 33 Stop point. Oh, night, my goodness. And he also oh. got popped in the nose right there by Serge Ibaka. The Ernie, we got to slow that play down later. Oh, that play. It's, that's, that's one of the greatest plays I've ever seen right there, America. And we'll take. Because he is. gets hit right here, Ernie. And he still has the, the mental toughness to duck this ball. Oh. Most people, when they get punched in the face, like when I punched Shaq in the face, he was out for like two, <laughs> three or four minutes. Yeah, okay. Bernie, <laughs> yeah. that is incredible. Yeah. Yeah. It he happens. didn't continue play after you punched Shaq? No. It happens uh, at about Keep the midway game, point Kenny. of the fourth quarter. I'm just asking. Yeah. And Miami goes on to win it 103 to 81. That is the worst loss of the season for the Thunder as they fall by 22. Just their fourth home loss. So Miami beats them there. Toronto, Portland, and Brooklyn are the other, other ones to do it. Miami now 17-4 and four against the West. Now the uh, update on uh, LeBron James provided by Craig Sager. Well, LeBron James left the game in the fourth quarter with that swollen and bloody nose, but the reports from the locker room are that it is not serious. They immediately gave him a concussion test, but he passed. They had Dr. Carlin Yates, a team physician from Oklahoma City. He evaluated LeBron as well. They determined that x-rays were not needed. However, they will have a further evaluation tomorrow when he gets back to Miami. Their next game is against the Bulls on Sunday. LeBron kind of joking with his teammates saying, hey, I hope it's not broken. I hope it's still straight. To which Shane Battier replied, hey, we're not as concerned as your global marketing partners. To you, their faces are worth a lot of money. To us, we just need your game. Back to you, EJ.
All right, thank you very much, Segs. Uh, LeBron able to tweet after the game. I mean, I, I just might have to. Uh, Shaq, you said that to go me with the other mask. day. My global partners <laughs> yeah. worried Ernie, about my game. Ernie face. Johnson. <laughs> The global yeah. partners do not like Charles's face. <laughs> so, we don't know if he'll have to wear a mask against Chicago on Sunday Ernie or not. Johnson, <laughs> I am Bane. I hate Charles Barkley. That's a that was a good movie. He's an old bastard, <laughs> fifty-one years old. <laughs> yeah. The wheelchair is coming. Happy birthday, to Bane. Yes. Yeah, yeah, happy birthday, Chuck. Right. Thank you, my brothers. You know, Ernie, I'm not gonna overreact to this one game, because obviously, uh, uh, you know, Russell's first game back. But I'm a little disappointed from an aggressive standpoint. You know, we all watch television all day, and everybody in the world hyping this game up on Turner. Uh, they did a great job. And I didn't like the fact, and I told you, the thing that concerns me about Kevin Durant, he's such a nice guy. So, like, he's not, he don't have that killer instinct. Uh, like, he's not out there just trying to kill you. I thought I said earlier, one of the best things happened to him was Russell Westbrook getting hurt. And I wanted to see how he was going to handle it when Russell came back. And he didn't take a shot for the first six minutes. LeBron had the first 12 points of the game, and he didn't take his first shot to six minutes to go in the first quarter. But what if he changes up next game? Well, see, he, I, I, I gets back into that. He's he, going, but the first he, he has, So if I'm next saying, next game doesn't meaning, count, Kenny. No, I'm, that's what I'm saying. Count. Does it count? That's what I'm gonna. It, it no. doesn't because it, you have to do it like every game. Because this is what I'm saying. If if it was me, and I'm not trying to talk, compare myself, I would have said to myself, first of all, I've been on a roll. Let me let Russell get his legs back up under him. He's first of all, I'm trying to win MVP. LeBron's coming to my house. Russell's been out for a m over a month. I'm coming out, and I'm going to give him some time to get his act together. But to come out passive, and like I say, and I said in the pregame, two of the best things happened to the NBA this year was Chris Paul going down because Blake Griffin is taking this game to another level. I want him to keep doing that when Chris comes back. Well, now he's back. I, listen, Kevin Durant is the second best basketball player in the whole world. He, he don't have to... Submit to anybody. Russell Westbrook is an all-star. Kevin Durant is a super, super, superstar. You don't take your game back. And like tonight, uh, like I say, I'm not going to go crazy, but I didn't like when he was passive. You know, Kenny talks about Larry Bird's had this great saying one time. He talked talk, talk about Reggie. Reggie Miller. He says, man, I was having a rough night. He says, dude, you were like one for nine. Unless you one for 16, <laughs> you don't know if you're having a bad night. You always empty your gun, Ernie. You don't come out there, pe especially when you know when a king is coming to town, to your house. And Ernie, a lot of people like to use the word statement game. Miami, to them, this was a statement game. Yes, Russell's coming back, and, and Kevin, you are leading in the MVP. But guess what? We still are the champs. We know we're on the road. We're going to come in here. And if you look at how they played, every time Kevin Durant went to the hole, Miami was playing that championship-style defense. He had to look at three defenders every time. LeBron, they, you see, do what they wanted to do. Yeah. LeBron, you see, going for 33, his 21st game of at least 30 points. Meantime, Kevin Durant, 28 points, uh, took him 22 shots, 10 out of. 22 and another stat you look at in this game in addition to what LeBron was able to do um, Oklahoma City just going two for 20 from three-point land and they turned it over 20 times leading to 27 Miami points that's one of the things Durant was talking about afterwards not okay see see uh, we turned the ball over. We gave him so many easy points. You know, those guys had like, you know, LeBron had it by himself had like 10 points in transition. And um, you just can't give a team like that, you know, uh, easy points, you know. So I think, you know, myself, I, I just too careless with the basketball. Just have to be better. Uh, and, you know, that, that, that kind of, that's contagious. So, you know, it's on me that I have to take care of the basketball and not give away easy points like that.